Kings, welcome to BBC News Now. Gaza's only power plant has stopped working after running out of fuel as Israel continues its deadly bombardment for a fifth day. Israeli troops are massing near the Gaza border in preparation for what could be a ground invasion of the territory as Israel responds to Saturday's brutal attacks by Hamas militants. Let's update you on the key developments this hour. Israel saying that more than 1,200 Israelis are now known to have been killed since Hamas launched attacks on Saturday. 169 of those killed were soldiers. BBC understands 17 British nationals are dead or missing. Palestinian sources say that more than 1,055 people have been killed by Israel's bombardment of Gaza, where entire neighborhoods have been flattened. Food and medical supplies are dwindling after Israel sealed all crossings into the territory, both sides accusing the other of war crimes in the attacks, which began on Saturday. Strikes against Gaza continue. Let's just uh, show you this. This just gives you a sense of the bombardment, a series of blasts a short while ago at Gaza's port. Smoke billowing right up into the sky there. Let's bring you more developments from our correspondent Nick Beek, who is in Tel Aviv. The missiles rained down on Gaza for another night. Israel said its jets hit 200 targets in one specific part of the city, which it claimed was home to those behind Hamas's attack at the weekend. Many civilians were on the receiving end taken to hospitals, which were already said to be full. Palestinian officials said half of the dead in Gaza are women and children, killed as shops and homes were leveled. Children are now playing here, where they should be sleeping. What is this? This is not a life. We are living here, surrounded by rubble. Gaza is destroyed. Everything is destroyed. Israel's intensified attack came after the discovery of a massacre in the southern city of Far Azar. Israeli soldiers recapturing areas from Hamas said mothers and children were among those who'd been murdered in their homes. They have just jihad machine to kill everybody without weapons, without nothing. Just normal citizens that want to take their breakfast, and that's all. And they kill them. It's an aggressive thing to see. It's very difficult to see it. But we must remember who is the enemy and what our mission. Our mission is the justice. We're in the right side, and all the world needs to be behind us. An official UK source has told the BBC there are now 17 British nationals who are either dead or missing following Hamas's attack in Israel. Children are among them. Many of these victims have not yet been named. <laughs> Israeli troops are gathering on the edge of Gaza in ever greater numbers, preparing for a much bigger battle, a ground operation into the heart of Hamas-controlled territory. Here at Israel's Ministry of Defense, they say they're preparing to carry out their mission, to make sure that Hamas will not be able to kill Israeli civilians in the future but any advancing forces are likely to encounter fierce resistance from the Hamas fighters. It's feared the bloodshed of the past few days will only intensify. Nick Beek, BBC News, Tel Aviv. Well, let's bring you more now from Nick, who has the very latest from outside the Defence Ministry. We're at the Ministry of Defence at the moment and they say the plans are continuing, that thousands of troops, hundreds of thousands of troops are now making their way towards Gaza. And if you listen to top officials, if you listen to the Defence Minister here, he says it's not a question of if they go into Gaza, but when. And so these preparations are underway. The, the top military generals, the commanders say that they have been given this mission by the government, and in their words, that is a mission to, to make sure that Hamas is unable to harm or kill Israeli civilians in the future. So that is the, the words coming out of the, the Israeli Ministry of Defense. Of course, at the same time, there are concerns, deep concerns, about what 
a, a ground invasion, a ground operation would mean for lots and lots of people. But certainly that is, that is what we're hearing from the top Israeli generals, that it's a matter of time. Nick, given that so many Israelis, of course, are still reeling, are still shocked and so traumatized by what has happened, what is your sense of how united or, in fact, divided people are when it comes to this next bit of military action by Israel? Well, this is a country, of course, where people have to do military service. So there is that connection, that relationship. And so people who may not be on active service at the moment, uh, they have been called up or they're certainly waiting to. We've talked to people who've been, uh, who've been saying that they've been ringing up, asking to, get, asking to go and serve. There was one uh, local person who was helping us yesterday, driving us round, and he actually said that he was called up. And so there is this movement of people. And interestingly, we spoke to some people last night who spent the past 10 months or so preparing demonstrations against the Netanyahu government. They don't like the direction the government, uh, that the country is being taken in. They say for now that is on pause and they were getting food together to send out to, to frontline troops. So that is the, the reaction from a lot of people, obviously not everyone within Israel, but the attacks at the weekend certainly shocked and stunned people and now there is this sense of a ground operation happening in Gaza and people here will be watching that. Of course all the while Lucy uh, in Gaza itself those civilians who are, uh, are stuck there and we know that many many people have had to leave their homes they will be waiting to see what further bombardment there will be of the place that they call home and uh, as you've been re reporting on the program today the bombardment continues in the past 24 hours 450 Israeli airstrikes have taken place and they tell us here at the MOD, the Ministry of Defence, that 200 of those were focused on a very specific part of Gaza City where the generals claim that a lot of people from Hamas had been housed and were able to plan the, the attacks of the weekend. Well, we can show you some pictures, the drone pictures, that really do show you the scale of destruction in Gaza from those airstrikes entire neighborhoods, all these buildings flattened as well, completely reduced to rubble in some places. The Red Crescent has said that four Palestinian medics have been killed in Israeli strikes today. The aid group saying three died when an ambulance was directly targeted.